Right, here we go. The third and last hike of the week. I'm trying to walk off the sore legs from yesterday. And we're heading up the PYG track. Right, we have just reached the junction now. You continue on that way. Obviously, if you want to go to Snowdon, for us, we're heading up there towards Kreebgok. Right, we are just approaching the base of Kreebgok. It's looking rather intimidating, but from memory, I don't actually remember anything too untoward as long as you pick the right line. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to go find our way up that. Yeah, it's a little marker cairn there. Yeah, this is very typical of the terrain going up Kreebgok. It's not overly difficult, but you just require a bit of concentration. Just think out your three points of contact before committing the next move. The handholds aren't very good. Is there a good handhold anywhere? Yeah. Maybe here. It's not really very bonny, bonny. Wallopers. No, there's Shit. nothing wallopy. Fucking bollocks and fuck. Right. You get your comfort zone, challenge, challenge zone, yeah. and your fear zone, and I'm probably in my challenge zone at the moment. I'm definitely in my fear zone. That's Anne just saying she's in her fear zone. You've definitely got a little bit worse over the years. Might just be your, your bad knees well though. Yeah, you know, there's the, the glitters where we were yesterday. And it looks like the scrambling starts to ease off and it's just hands on, sort of easy crawling across mm. and then pick up the ridge up where that guy is there. You're nearly there. Is it just the knee that's holding you up? <laughs> Anne's just taking a few moments off the scrambling <laughs> and along this bypass path. I would stick to the crest just now. Okay. There's definitely one bit that you were on the crest and I was down the side. Oh. Nah, we don't want to go down the side there just yet. No, not yet. I could step now if you please. <clears throat> right, well we're on Kreebgok Ridge. And there's just a little bit of crest. Just have to negotiate here. And my assistant and colleague Anne is showing how it's done. Or not. <laughs> She'll slap him in a minute. Oh, I don't like this at all now. You're okay. That is where the summit is. You okay? Right, we've got a horrible little oh no. polish bit coming up. Yeah, me too. 
definitely going to mall force with this. Although it is grippy. Honestly. I'm enjoying it, don't worry. You can't be. <laughs> you can't be with me, but you're such a twat. But really bad disco legs. You're so close now, like. I don't. Right, we've just come off the crest and there's this. So the bypass path, and I'm hoping it goes through the gap there. There's optional scrambling up there, but I think we're just going to push on because uh, it's quarter to twelve. It just took a shade longer than we expected. But then I can't see. There's a Any little... way of not climbing like those guys are doing. Yeah. You definitely didn't go over that, I can assure you. I would not in a trillion, trillion years. Hang on, let's see what it says about. I don't remember this bit at all. Oh, really? Jeez, I am shaking like a leaf here. Yeah, the gully's fine, Anne. Just take your time. As soon as I see you, I'll shout you. We've got a little bit unstuck at the third pinnacle. Eh. Uh, I could probably climb it, I'd be a bit nervous, but there's no way my friend Anne can do it. So I phoned my friend from Wales, he's got me to come down a gully. I came it down and I was a bit nervous, but it seems a lot easier coming around this side. Oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Right, so Anne's going to come down here and join me, and we're just going to clamber up there, hopefully and get back on point of the ridge. It's frustrating because my, my advice with ridges is always stick to the crest as much as possible. Don't negotiate going into gullies because you just don't know what you're getting yourself into. And here I am, gone down a gully to try and find another route. I feel a bit embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Right. That gully and back up has got us back on the ridge where we want to be. <sighs> Breaver, just need to get down now, it's a bit steep. The herring gulls have definitely wisened up, eh? Yeah. Food source from the walkers. They got a bad press by like herring gulls. I love herring gulls. Right, after a well earned lunch, we are back on the move. And the next target is Carniff Agai, I think is how you pronounce it. Please let me know in the comments if I haven't pronounced anything right. You can give me a hard time if you want. <laughs> oh, we're making a meal of this. We are, aren't we? We've um, we took a bypass path. Yeah. Just forgot about the scrambling. Right, we're getting there, slowly but surely. You can see there we're towering above Creep Gok. Right, not far now. Oh, jeez, oh! Made it! <laughs> right, so now we're on our way to Snowdon, join the crowds, get our place in the queue to touch the summit. <laughs> to be fair, it's a weekday so it shouldn't be too bad, but we can see steady flows of people coming up and down. There we go. Highest baldy man in Wales. Woo. 
Right to folks, me and Anne have parted company. I'm going to do the classic horseshoe route. We're just going to pick up the, the walking path here. Anne's going to head down the PYG. So uh, this is my turn off here. Let's go. Right, well the walking path started off pretty good. It's like your typical staircase. Now it's just a little bit more loose. I'm just taking my time here. Right, yo. I'm now in the flat section, heading along towards the ridge. I hope I can make up a bit of time on this. Anne was very insistent that I did the horseshoe because she's worried that she spoiled my day just because of the drama on Creep Gok. But you know what? These things happen and she's not spoiled my day at all. Yeah, uh, mentally it was a little bit more challenging. Just worried about Anne and obviously I was trying to concentrate on myself as well. And so anyways, she's heading down the PYG. I'm heading along the walking path and I've got this last peak to do. The name escapes me at the moment. But uh, it's 25 to 4, so got another solid four day, four, four hours of daylight left, so there's no worries. So I'm just going to push on for now, and I'll bring you back when I get along to that bad boy over there. Right, so there's Creep Gok. Look at this, this is stunning. Some very minor scrambling and eventually I'll get up this one. Right, I've literally just left the walking path. I'm now headed up the last one of the day, which I believe has two tops as well. I don't know if you can make that out, I've zoomed in as much as I can. That helicopter is right above Creep Gok. Alrighty, I think I'm at the top of the first peak. That pull up is rocky and slabby. Nothing difficult. Cairns to mark your um, route finding. But uh, it wasn't steep, just clambering over rock. And my feet are burning. <laughs> right, I'm going to go over to the next one. Hey folks, just a quick update. Absolutely nothing untoward coming down from that mountain. It's really just your typical mountain path. A little bit loose in places, some rock steps, but nothing major. It took me 20 minutes as well, so that's not bad at all. Now I've got the last descent, which is going to take me down towards the pig track. So hopefully this is fairly straightforward as well, because I am tired. Yeah, total sods law. I couldn't find the path coming down, so I could see the path below that I wanted to be on, so if I had to freestyle it, I kind of worked my way through that. Nothing too difficult, but still a pain in the arse. So I seem to be on a path now, which will eventually take me out there. That's me, I literally just picked up the miners track. So it's a home straight now, back to the car at Penny Pass. I think it's got another two, three kilometers to go. It looks miles. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a, an epic three days in Wales. Uh, some testing moments at times, you know, but uh, nobody lost an eye. So I'm going to wrap this one up now and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.